episode of how big can my hair really get? I feel like Brent Fias in Mercedes in that visual that he gave us. Two of my nails are broken. I did them yesterday. Poor application on my part, but still you can even let me get the whole day before you go flying across the room. Anyway, I am now two videos behind, but don't you worry, don't you fret. Edited all morning, in and out, let me not. Let me not act like I've just been on the computer. I was watching YouTube videos, I was eating, I was scrolling a little bit. So I'm gonna do a double upload today. We're doing it, we're doing the double upload. Everything's fine, we'll be back on task, on target, on track. But while this is uploading, ooh, Coffee Radio is on right now, it's live at the moment. I like listening to Coffee Radio when I am diligently working on things. 12 minutes, okay. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the last fragrance in the advent calendar. One moment. Because I'm doing the double upload today, as a thank you for your patience, I'm also gonna open the blind buy that I purchased right before Vlogmas started. <sighs> Day 12 is here. And there is a candle, I think is what they said. So let's open both. This is the Burberry Herb Eau de Parfum. 1.5 milliliters, 0 0.05 fluid ounces. Before we take a whiff of that, let's open the special gift. If it will allow me to open said gift. Wait a minute. <laughs> How does one get this out of here? Did, did anybody figure that out? Hmm. Listen, you hear me struggling. Help me, oh. All right, okay. It smells like when the grill is out of fire, just the burnt wood at the bottom. That's what I'm smelling initially. So I'm gonna close that back up. We're not here for that. Here for the Burberry Her right now. Oh, the packaging. Glass sampler. Okay, here we go. You already know. You already know. Weird spray, but. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she's sweet, not too clean. And is there jasmine in this? There's floral love, obviously. And there's something very sweet about it. So what would be sweet? Pear or bergamot or subtle powder. I was on the right track and I didn't know MFK had something to do with the Burberry Her fragrance, which is quite interesting. That is the person who gave you Baccarat Rouge 540 that you guys have in a chokehold. But anyway, main accords. Fruity, sweet, woody, musky, powdery. Okay, I was, I was on it. Whoa, here are the notes. Top notes, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange, lemon. Middle notes, violet and jasmine. And the base notes, musk, vanilla, cashmere, oak moss, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. Wow, it, it's nice, it's nice. I think that it's a nice daytime, maybe, it's nice. It's floral, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's, it's a nice fragrance. This is something I would wear to brunch, like out with the gorillas. The blind buy. We're in the office right now, I figured. You guys are tired of seeing the same two places in my dining room and in the loft. So I'm giving you a third, the office. <laughs> so we are unboxing this fragrance. So the shipping box is perforated on the bottom and you don't need scissors, which everyone, let's get on one accord. Let's make that a universal thing. This is the Armagh Club de Nuit Intense. I am kind of nervous about it, but excited at the same time because I do hear good things about it, but there is a note in it that I I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be too overpowering for me, if it's going to give me a headache like Chloe does, but let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic and see. This is my first blind buy. I guess you could say the Fleur de Patchouli the collab with Joe Malone and Zara. That was a blind buy, but that was a safer blind buy because I know I like patchouli. A sample of exceptional because you are 
Okay. And the place that I order some of my fragrances from, I order from FragranceNet, but I think they've just now gone to fragrance.com. So this is what the front of the package looks like. Anyway, so there we have it. Club de Nuit Intense by Armoff. On the screen, you're seeing the main accords and we're gonna talk notes in a second. Let me struggle with the packaging. Nicely packaged though, I will say. Okay, it's embossed. That is nice. Etched in there. I don't know the proper stationary terminology for that, but it's in there quite nicely. It feels like a, it is an EDP, 105 milliliters. Uh, 3.6 fluid ounces. I better like it because I'm getting nervous thinking about it. Okay, I do like the cute little gem on the front. Let's see. I want to open this, but I also want to get a TikTok. No, no, no. I want to do an unboxing for Instagram. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. <laughs> on the wall but anyway on the side have a cap no magnet in case you're wondering on all sides two little crystals and one down here. This is actually on there. I didn't realize I bought such a big bottle. You know how we do with the scents. Let's, let's spray it on. Perfume house on the top of the sprayer. Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it's here. All right, I've taken up a lot of your time already. Let's go ahead, go ahead and spray it. Please don't upset me. Pump, okay, cute spray. Ooh, powerful spray. Powdery. I like it. Powdery though. Is it too powdery for me? I would have known by now. Hmm, something mysterious about this lady. But I like her. Why are you so mysterious? What's going on with you? What are you hiding? Would wear this winter and date nights. Hmm. Okay, the main accords. Powdery is coming through a bit more for me than, it smells like a lotion that I've had from Lush. But I can't place it right now. I will put it up on the screen. It's, it's escaping me what the name is and it smells just like that. Notes, here we go. Rose, saffron, geranium, nutmeg, pepper, violet, and caraway in the middle. And in the base, things that I enjoy, patchouli, vanilla, Oud and Amber. I mean, it smells just like the lotion from Lush. Charity Pot. It smells similar to Charity Pot. Why am I pointing at you? Sorry about that. And at what's in Charity Pot. Ooh. Okay, Charity Pot has enough of the pop-ups. Enough. All right. Here we go. We have lots of oils here. We have olive oil, jojoba oil, moringa oil, cocoa butter, shea butter. We have geranium oil, rosewood oil, ylang ylang oil, vanilla, aloe vera, of course. We have, well, fresh aloe. We also have, they have it listed as a floral, lightly scented lotion, and it smells just like it. Mmm, it, it smells like it to me. And this was my one of my favorite lotions to pick up. Beautiful bottle, beautiful bottle. I, I can't say anything else about the bottle. It is just a beauty, wow. I think this is a successful blind buy, what do you think? I'm into it. Oh, and the dry down, it's nice. Mm -hmm. 